day of summer for the kids they are now going to be in fourth grade second grade and kindergarten we are still deciding if we want to send Charlie to preschool or just wait another year you guys know I want to be on a good schedule this summer and that includes some school work but we will start that next week we'll slowly transition um, later this week with like workbooks and that type of stuff um, but I also made like a meal plan for the month of June for lunch breakfast and lunches just so I can stay on track and um, know exactly what we are having for lunch and breakfast and I don't have to sit here and scramble on what am I gonna feed all of these children looking for a healthy healthy meal plan for your kids this is not it because I need to make meals that my kids are going to eat I know they're going to eat and I know that they're going to like with food all the price is going up I'm not gonna buy stuff my kid kids are not gonna eat it is currently like 10 11 o'clock um, and we are going to head outside Says I was told that you don't want me Maybe you're just calling You know I try to hold on to it I still you move menu I made so this morning they had eggs instead of toast they had waffles and yogurt and then for lunch they're having chicken french fries and instead of fruit we are doing pickles um, and so like I said I made this to what I know they will actually eat and this is just for the month of June so tomorrow is just cereal and yogurt sandwich chips and since we had a pickle today they will have fruit um, tomorrow with lunch and then so forth. So breakfast and lunch is when we do fruit um, and veggies is at dinner time.
leftovers for dinner and the younger two didn't really, well, Weston did eat the leftovers. Do you want leftovers or do you want your peanut butter and jelly? Peanut butter and jelly. So the little ones are gonna have peanut butter and jelly, some apples and Cheez-Its um, because I know this is what they will eat. Noah requested ramen. So him and Maya really want ramen. Um, and then we're just gonna have the leftover baked CDs. So there you go. What do you say? And I know Charlie for sure will eat this, hopefully. Is that your favorite? Like your absolute favorite? It is. <laughs> yeah, are you happy you got that for dinner? Instead of Big ZD? Yeah. Is that your favorite? Yeah, did you take a good nap? Yeah. Tommy's clothes because he is now in size three to six months. Well, I'd say zero to three does fit him, but as you can see, his arms, like that doesn't fit. And like he's just he's just getting really long. Um, so this does fit him like this way, but lengthwise, not really, but I'm still gonna keep it because it does fit him. Um but we need to go through his clothes because a lot of his zero to three month clothes do not fit. He's honestly a very tall boy. He's very tall. For our children, with me and Gage being short, he's tall. And I don't know where he got his height from, but he's a big boy. He's a tall boy. You guys know this is Tommy's setup. This is all clean clothes that I've just kind of thrown in here because I need to go through this drawer. And I mean, like some of this stuff is just, way too small for him in here. I don't even know, like I don't think this would fit him. It could, maybe it would. Um, these pants will not fit him. He's too long, so we gotta go through all this and see what we're gonna keep. Here's an example, here is a zero to three month. It is the brand Kyle and Dina, I believe. Um, so, it would definitely fit him, like body, like, body like his belly like he's not a chunky baby but his legs <laughs> but his legs yeah your feet your feet wouldn't fit in there your little toes wouldn't fit in there honey doesn't fit you lengthwise but fits you perfect in your little belly yeah yes it does yeah you're just a tall boy Yes, you are. You're a growing boy. This is our bin of three to six months, and we do have some rompers in here. I have been getting him some stuff from Target as well, but we're going to go through this and see what will fit him and what needs to be saved for the next size. I did not touch these drawers. These are just like diapers and that stuff, but we have jammies, and then these could be jammies. They just don't have like the feet on, like the little... They just don't have like feet on them. They're just like open jammies. Um, and then we have shorts, pants, and um, onesies. And then in this one, and then in this one we have all rompers. So his clothes are now all organized. And I have this bag of baby clothes that we are going to save and put down into the basement. What are we making, boys? Popcorn. 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 Do you like popcorn? Yeah. 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 You like popcorn? Yeah. Are you gonna watch a movie? And I got a movie. Yeah, why do you have a band-aid on? Because what'd you do? Oh, okay. That's why you put a band-aid on it. There did you did scratch you yourself? What? Did you scratch yourself? No. No? You just wanted a band-aid on? In there. I know. <gasps> Charles, put it back. Thank you. That's a lot of popcorn. That is a lot of popcorn. Yeah. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Then it's gonna go here it is. Just eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
The kids are so cute. They wrote, dishes are clean. Not these ones, unless they rinsed those ones. I don't think they did. I think they meant the dishwasher because the clean button was on. They must have opened it, but yeah. Dishes are clean. They're so cute. They cleaned up the entire basement as well. Now they're having some popcorn. All right, it's the next day. The kids are eating breakfast because they are wanting to go what? Play outside, go swimming. Are you gonna go swimming, Charlie? You are? Okay. But, why is that kind of random? Because we're gonna do a huge splash. Okay, so we're gonna end this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. And that. You're gonna do a big splash? Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and we will talk to you in our next vlog. Bye.